All right, welcome back guys. Wyatt Knox here at the Team O'Neill Rally School. What we're gonna talk about today, just a little bit quickly, something that's very important for any kind of racing you do and certainly has a ton of street driving implications, uh, usefulness out on the road, everything else, but definitely if you're driving quickly, if you're ripping around, whether you're racing or just, uh, you know, maybe carrying a little bit of speed on the back road or something like that, critically important where you're intentionally coming into corners, apexing corners, going out of corners. Um, we've seen a lot of times, you know, early apexing turns, traditional lines around corners, late apexing corners. It really depends what your objective is. You know, if you have one corner out here in the road, you've probably heard and you've seen it and you've done it and everything else, late apexing turns is going to be a little bit more beneficial maybe than early apexing turns. The idea of early apexing a corner, it's something that everyone naturally does because when you're driving along and you're coming into a corner like this, say you're going in this direction, your eyes are at the apex, you're worried about carrying speed, you're probably coming in quickly, it's easy to look you know, where you want to be at the apex and turn in a little bit early and start kind of dive bombing for the inside of the road. And what we see is, if you're coming into this situation, uh, it's not exactly where you want to be. Because even if you have some braking accomplished and your speed's about right at this point, mid corner near the apex, you really don't have the car turn very much at all. So your speed on the exit, you can probably see, isn't going to be that good. On a gravel road, a slippery road, a snowy road, a loose surface, somewhere you haven't been before, the problem that you're gonna run into here is if you're going quickly because you don't have this car turned in for the corner, is that where's the car pointed? Well, it's pointed over there somewhere. So if you come into these situations and you start early apexing corners at high speed, this is where we see a lot of people go off the road. Um, it, and it's either that or slow down enough to make it around the corner. But if you're just dive bombing corners and early apexing turns at high speed, it's not gonna work out that well for you over time. Um, what you find is traditional racing theory, kind of the fastest way in and out of this corner. If this is a racetrack or something like that, and you're trying to go around here, uh, go-kart track with your buddies or something like that, the traditional racing line. The traditional racing line means you're gonna set the car up as far to the outside of the corner as you can on the approach. And the goal here is gonna be to make those long and smooth and easy a continuous radius arc as possible around that corner to carry the most speed. So we know early apexing is bad. A traditional racing line would kind of put you making a long, gentle, smooth arc around this corner um, to carry as much momentum as possible. At this point, when you're clipping by the apex here, you've got half of your turning accomplished, and that's a traditional racing line or as close as I can come just doodling it on a whiteboard, uh, that's what you're up against. The problem with the traditional racing line is that it really only works well on roads that you know perfectly, you know exactly the right amount of speed for the corner, you can tell what's going to be around the apex. If this is a blind turn on a road you've never been on before and your co-driver just says right three and you're coming in hot into this thing, the issue you run into is you have no room for error. You've maximized your speed, you've maximized your line, you're maximizing the grip. If something goes a little bit wrong and the grip's not the way you thought it would be or you carry a little bit too much momentum or the road's a little off camera on the exit, it's very, very easy for this traditional racing line to run out of room on the exit even just a small error on your part um, or, or you misgauge the speed or the conditions or something like that, you're going to be off the road and you're going to be off the road at high speed. Um, so not really what we're going for on a, on a rally stage or on a slippery road or if you're driving in the snow, trying to carve this traditional racing line isn't probably going to work out the way you want it to every single time. Will you get away with it? You know, seven out of 10 times probably, but that means you're gonna be you know, off the road three out of 10 times and that's just not quite a good enough 
uh, finishing rate for what we're trying to do. So what we tend to do in the rally cars is late apex corners. And it's something that you can do on the street, even staying with your own lane, you can practice your lines and apexes. Um, but the late apexing line here is gonna see you coming into this just like you would if you were on the conventional racing line. Crowd the outside edge of the road. You'll gain better visibility around the turn. You'll be able to see where it's going a little better. Come in at the same speed. You know, come screaming down the straightaway or whatever you want to do here. But as you're approaching this corner, the late apex line, your goal is now going to be to stay a little wider, a little longer, finish your turn sooner, and exit up the inside of the road. So you're holding it outside longer, you're breaking here, you're trail breaking into the corner, you're getting it turned in where you want it to be, and by the time you're at the apex, you've achieved 90% of the cornering necessary to make it around that turn. And you're gonna shoot for exiting up the inside of the road, somewhere like this green car. What does that mean? Okay, it's not the fastest line. Um, you're carrying a traditional racing line around there, you're gonna carry a few more miles an hour. Why do we do it? We do it because in a rally, um, you see 3,000 corners one time each. You're going into these blind situations, like I said, where you're back here somewhere, the co-driver says right three, you're like, okay, here we go. Um, and you've gotta know that a blind turn like this you can't guesstimate the conditions on the exit. You can't really tell if there's a slippery road or an off-camera road. You don't have all of the information necessary. So like I said, if you overcook it a little bit with your speed or there's some other variable, you're leaving yourself this whole buffer zone, right? So if you're pushing hard and you come in on this late apex line, you might find that you end up a little bit wide over here, flopping around and floundering around and trying to make this corner still. Um, but you've left yourself that room to do that and still stay on the road. So that's why we shoot for typically, and you probably should too a lot of the time, a late apex line uh, around a corner like that. The other obvious scenario is when you start driving faster and you start looking ahead further and your co-driver starts calling turns, two or three corners ahead. It's not necessarily the turn you're in that makes a big difference, it's the one after that that you're particularly worried about because you really can't see it and you really don't know and you, whatever you do in this corner applies directly to what you might do, grab the black marker, in the next corner, right? So if you're in a situation where the road cuts back the other way, you know, here you are, if you're in this green car, if you late apex this corner, well now, you've got options. You can late apex this turn again and continue merrily along your way. You can call out a more traditional racing line around here to carry more speed on the exit. You can do whatever you want. When, you, when you're here somewhere, um, you've got all the options in the world. If you're this black car right here though, and you've taken a traditional racing line, you're out of options. You've early apexed this corner and you've got a lot of speed. So what you'll find is you might not crash here, you might crash over there, right? So you might end up in the woods crawling out of the window and picking glass out of your hair and saying, oh, what went wrong? Well, the decision you made back here might not have been the best one, you know? So you might want to think about changing your line a little. Um, or certainly, if once you're at this apex, if you're in this car, you'd say, oh, this isn't good. I've got to slow down a little bit and make it around there. But just know your exit speed out of this corner, all of a sudden is going to be a lot lower than the exit speed that that green car um, can potentially take through there. So complexes of turns, uh, definitely late apexing corners when you've got a series of turns coming up can be a huge advantage. What we find, you know, late apexing turns versus early apexing turns versus the traditional line. Um, when you're driving fat on a real road, certainly on a slippery road, your line is based on what the conditions are doing. Right? So this is all happy theoretical stuff and what you're optimistically going for, but realistically in the world, you know, you've got some pretty severe potentially camber on some of these roads where there's a big crown on the road and you know if you go way over here because you want a late apexing line or a traditional racing line, well if this is all off camber and slanted towards the outside, when you break right there, 
it's going to upset the car and it's going to pull you downhill and you can get yourself into all kinds of trouble just trying to brake hard on an off-camber road or a slippery road. You know, if this is all mud over here, um, which happens very often, especially on a gravel road, the edges are a lot looser and less packed and softer and once you go over towards the edge, you don't have nearly as much grip as you have in the center, you can get yourself into problems right here. So, you know, we've said never early apex corners, do whatever you need to do. If that's where the grip is, is to come in here in the middle of the road because you can brake on much better traction, wonderful. You know, you might get to here and realize, oh, as you're coming in and you're turning in for the turn, um, yeah, they could be rough potholes here or rocks or some other obstacle. There could be, again, more off-camber road up ahead. There could be a couple of ruts left by some other cars that are doing this. And you know, if you get pulled into those, it's gonna be a little bit weird. So really, in the back of your head, you gotta know, okay, I wanna lay apex corners as much as possible. Sometimes if you really know what's there, you can trust a traditional racing line, that's wonderful. But as you're driving on real roads, on snowy roads, on gravel roads, or any of this stuff, and certainly even on paved roads, you're gonna find that the camber, the conditions, and everything else conspires against you a little bit. So drive where you've got the most level surface, the best pack surfaces, uh, the smoothest surfaces, and you're gonna have the best route through there. You know, picking your way through corners sometimes is the only way to do it. Um, so just be aware that there's a million variables out there and you're always going to be half to changing your lines. When could you early apex corners? Um, there's a few situations, you know, one of them we see a lot is when you've got what we'll call a double apex corner, where you've got a right that goes into a right. Your goal here, as you come into a corner like this, has to be you know, to take a conventional racing line or potentially late apex, that second corner. Uh, especially if you've got a long straightaway coming out of this thing where you think you want to carry some speed, you know, this first turn right here doesn't necessarily matter so much. Your goal is to get yourself out here somewhere so that you can take a good line around this corner and, and carry some speed through it. So if that means you have you know, no real apex around this turn or you would early apex or whatever you need to do here, doesn't really matter. Your goal is gonna be to carry a long, smooth, continuous radius arc um, that gets you where you wanna be in the end. The other spot we see a lot of the time is if you got a long straightaway into a tight corner with a few little turns after it like that, you know, as you're coming into this one, you could make the call to early apex that turn, right? Because you've got inconsequential corners after that. So you could kind of come in here and dive bomb hard, you know, into the inside early because you know you're just gonna go cruising through these ones and you're worried about speed. That's one way to do it where, you know, late apexing this one and that one and that one is gonna kill a little more momentum, um, especially in a slower car. You know, we see a lot of the time in a slow car, you're going for not only the easiest, smoothest arc and carving these lines through turns, um, if you don't have that much speed, you're going for the shortest distance possible. You know, what's the straightest, easiest line you can take through here that's going to carry the most momentum? And if you deem it's that, that's wonderful. Go for it. Um, might not be what the guys in the faster cars are doing where they're holding a different line because they've got more momentum where in a slow car if you need to straighten things out because they really don't matter and, and you're just trying to get from A to B as quick as you can that's that's your call to make and uh, have fun doing it so hopefully that clears some things up thanks we'll catch you next time <laughs>